Now, we'll start off with Australia. Um, so in the 12 months to the 30th of November, property value surged by 22.2% nationally, the largest annual increase since 1989. The synchronized upswing saw almost every capital city and rest of state region reach record high values with the exception of Western Australia and Northern Territory. Australia's housing market recorded outstanding capital growth for 2021 with the estimated value of residential real estate now worth 9.4 trillion Australian dollars, which is a new record high. In terms of sales volume, sale volume increased to the highest level in almost 18 years with an estimated 614,635 sales in the past 12 months. And Now, I thought it'd be worthwhile including this slide as well. So this is talking about the change in dwelling values in the 12 months to 2021 or November 2021. Sorry. So as a whole, Australia, as mentioned, saw an increase of 22.2% for the entirety of the country. Looking at your regional cities, which or regional locations, which also performed extremely well. As a whole, the combined regionals saw an increase of 25.2%. In terms of your capitals, they saw an increase of 21.3%. Leading the way over the past 12 months has been Sydney, which saw a 25.8% rise in the dwelling values. Uh, in second place, you've got Brisbane, uh, and Brisbane seen some exceptional growth over the past 12 months, which has been fueled by a lot of interstate migration um, and people moving up there from a lifestyle uh, perspective, you could say. I guess there was a lot of uncertainty in Sydney and Melbourne as to how long lockdowns would go on for. Brisbane was relatively unscathed for a long period of time. Um, and from a lifestyle, lifestyle perspective, and given that people were able to work from home and that was becoming a more viable option, from a lifestyle perspective, it made a lot of sense for people to move up to Queensland. So we saw a lot of sh or that shift in, in migration into the Sunshine State.